Changing States from Solids to Liquids to Gases by casescience.com. What I'm drawing here is the particle arrangement for particles in a solid. They are in a regular arrangement. And what I'm drawing here are the intermolecular bonds between the particles in a solid. Intermolecular bonds between the particles in a solid. The strength of these intermolecular bonds between the particles mean that the particles remain in fixed positions, in a fixed regular arrangement. So the particles in a solid have less energy in their kinetic energy stores and the internal energy of the solid than a gas or a liquid. This means that the particles are going to vibrate in a fixed position. As you can see here, they're vibrating in a fixed position. This means that the particles are going to vibrate in a fixed position. As you can see here, they're vibrating in a fixed position. So if you increase the thermal energy store of the object, that thermal energy is going to be transferred across the kinetic energy stores of the particles. Therefore, the internal energy of the object is going to increase. The particles will start to vibrate more. They start to move more. This is because the energy in the kinetic energy stores of the particles increases. The particles will start to vibrate more. They start to move more. This is because the energy in the kinetic energy stores of the particles increases. This will cause the forces of attraction between the particles to become weaker because the particles are vibrating more, causing some of the intermolecular bonds to be weaker than in a solid. Because the particles are now moving faster, this will cause the forces of attraction between the particles to become weaker because the particles are vibrating more, causing some of the intermolecular bonds to be weaker than in a solid. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The force of attraction between the particles to become weaker because the particles are vibrating more, causing some of the intermolecular bonds to be weaker than in a solid. So the substance will then change state into a liquid. And the particles now take up a more random, irregular arrangement, causing some of the intermolecular bonds to be weaker than in a solid. And the particles have more kinetic energy in their kinetic energy stores than in a solid. And the particles have more kinetic energy in their kinetic energy stores than in a solid. So now we're transferring more energy into the thermal energy store of the object. Therefore, the particles will have more energy in their kinetic energy stores. So now the particles have enough kinetic energy in their kinetic energy stores to weaken the intermolecular forces of attraction, therefore breaking the intermolecular bonds between the particles in the liquid. So now you've got a change of state, whereby the liquid has now evaporated into a gas. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So now the particles have enough kinetic energy in their kinetic energy stores to weaken the intermolecular forces of attraction, therefore breaking the intermolecular bonds between the particles in the liquid. So now you've got a change of state, whereby the liquid has now evaporated into a gas. So now you've got a change of state, whereby the liquid has now evaporated into a gas. And there are almost no forces of attraction between the particles in a gas. And they're now moving faster because they've got an increased kinetic energy store. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
So let's recap. In a solid, there are stronger intermolecular bonds between the particles. So if you then increase the internal energy of this system, so you're increasing the kinetic energy store of the particles, you are going to cause the particles to move faster. So if the particles are now moving faster, they have a higher kinetic energy, they're going to overcome the intermolecular forces of attraction and then break some of the bonds. So if the particles are now moving faster, they have a higher kinetic energy, they're going to overcome the intermolecular forces of attraction and then break some of the bonds. So that means in a liquid, there are going to be weaker intermolecular bonds between the particles. And if you then transfer more energy into the kinetic energy store of the particles, increasing the internal energy of the system, what you're then going to do is break the remaining intermolecular bonds and the particles are now going to have almost no forces of attraction between them and they are going to be in a gaseous state. And in this gaseous state, the particles are going to be moving at their fastest. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.